This is a GCE L level pure physics revision series. In this video, we are going to discuss important physics definitions that you must know before you take your exam. There are two chapters to cover. The chapters are Chapter 6 Pressure, Chapter 7 Energy, Work and Power. This video is brought to you by Ace with Dennis. Now, learning can be smart, not hard. Don't forget to subscribe and press the bell notification button to stop missing out important updates from us. Also, check out the description area to sign up to our signature course, GCE L Level Pure Physics Full Course, at unbelievable price. It's one time payment. You can study anytime you like, anywhere at your convenience. You can also easily monitor and track your study with Udemy's system. There is no recurring monthly tuition fees. No expensive intensive revision workshops. You don't have to rush to any tuition centers. You don't have to worry on missing any lessons. Sign up our signature online course at description area now. Without further ado, let's get started now. Chapter 6. Pressure. Pressure. Pressure, P, is the force acting per unit area. It is a scalar quantity and its SI unit is Pascal. Pressure in liquid. Pressure in liquid is dependent on 1. Density of the liquid 2. Gravitational acceleration 3. The depth of the liquid Its formula is P equals rho G H Pascal's principle Pascal's principle states that the change in pressure applied to an enclosed fluid is transmitted unchanged to every part of the fluid, as well as the walls of the container. Chapter 7. Energy, Work and Power. Work done. Work done, W, on an object is defined as the product of force, F acting on the object and distance traveled, S by the object in the direction of the force. Energy. Energy, E is the ability to do work. It is a scalar quantity. Its SI unit is Joule J. Energy. Energy, E is the ability to do work. It is a scalar quantity. Its SI unit is Joule J. Nine common types of energy. 1. Gravitational potential energy. Gravitational potential energy is energy stored by objects that are in high places. 2. Kinetic energy. Kinetic energy is energy possessed by moving objects. 3. Thermal energy. Thermal energy is internal energy that is responsible for the temperature of an object. 4. Solar or light energy. Solar or light energy is energy that is produced by illuminating object. 5. Sound energy. Sound energy is energy that is caused by vibrating objects. 6. Electrical energy. Electrical energy is energy that is caused by moving electrical charges. 7. Nuclear energy. Nuclear energy is energy released from atoms either by nuclear fusion or nuclear fission. 8. Elastic potential energy. Elastic potential energy is energy stored as a result of applying a force to deform an elastic object. 9. Chemical potential energy. Chemical potential energy is energy that can be stored and released chemically. For example, food, batteries and fuel. Principle of conservation of energy. The principle of conservation of energy states that the total amount of energy in an isolated system is constant. Energy cannot be created or destroyed. It can be converted from one form to another. Power. Power, P is the rate of work done or the rate of energy conversion. It is a scalar quantity. Its SI unit is Watt, W. Efficiency. Efficiency is defined as the ratio of useful energy output to energy input. Efficiency can also be defined as the ratio of useful power output to power input. It has no unit. That's all for this video. Thanks for watching. Do you have any thoughts, opinion or experience want to share? 
write it down in the comment area. We'd love to hear from you. Also, do you like this video? Don't forget to like and share it to your friends. Until then, see you in the next video. Have a great day ahead.